Kate is still indoors, and some silver salt and pepper shakers have caught her eye. These are nice. What are these? They're Cartier. Yeah. Sterling silver. Oh, sterling. Yeah. What do you want for those? Yeah. They're 55 pounds. For the two? Yes. I could do 30. No, I can't do that. 45. 40 cash and I'm happy. Yeah. No? 45. Sure? 45. Thank you very much. Hard bargaining Kate only manages to knock £10 off the asking price, so does she still think these shakers can give her a profit? I think that 45 is a very good price because not only have we got sterling silver, but we have got Cartier on the bottom. Great name, good private buyer, I think, for these. So Kate's happy with her purchase. So happy, in fact, she's gone outside and is making a huge racket about it. My silver pepper and salt, my pepperettes by Cartier, great name. I am also directing to an antique silver specialist. Yes, Kate makes a sizable profit of £210 for the cheese coaster, meaning she's down to her last item, the salt and pepper shakers. She's travelling to London to see Daniel, an antique dealer who's got a new shop in the West End and is looking for goods to fill it. She shakes out a not-to-be-sneezed-at profit of £155 and Daniel is one step closer to being open for business. This will be my lucky piece of silver. It's my first purchase in my new shop, so that's fantastic. Another one in the bag. Onwards and upwards.